Hi, my name is Ty Tessman, and today I'm going to show you how to build a ball lift for the X-Ray XB220. Uh, in my opinion, it's the most consistent ball lift I've ever used if it's built correctly. And if it's built correctly, it'll give the ball lift more life and the car more grip. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by cleaning the diff rings and thrust washers with some motor spray. Uh, from the factory, they come with a coating that keeps it from rusting, but I don't want any of that inside my diff, so I'm going to make sure all this is clean before I start my diff build. I'm also going to clean the diff screw as well with motor spray on a rag because I'm going to be lateing it and I don't want any of the oils that comes from the factory inhibiting that. I'm also going to clean the inside of the outdrive that the thrust bearing goes into because I want to have grease in there and I don't want any other kind of oils or anything in there. So I'll just shove a paper towel in there and kind of work it around and get that oil that comes from the factory out of there. I'm also going to clean the nut, um, clean the oil out of there because that's what the Loctite's going to be going into and I want to make sure it can hold good. Now I'm going to build the thrust bearing. I'm going to put the first washer on and I'm going to be using 110% um, RC blood. It's a really thick bearing grease so it's really good for this application. Um, you want to make sure you put a lot on. You really can't put too much so I make sure I put a lot on there. Um, and it'll make, just make the diff that last that much longer. I'm also going to use the poker that I've been using uh, to put the grease on to pick up the diff balls. That way it just makes it a little easier to get them on there without trying to fumble around with your fingers. It kind of sticks to the poker and then you can place them where you want to put them. I'm going to kind of massage that in there a little bit before I put the last ring on. I'm going to put the, the washer on there and then I'm going to also put a little bit more grease on there just to make sure you have a lot of grease uh, It's well lubricated and it'll just last that much longer. So once I got that done, I'm going to put a little bit of um, RC blood inside the outdrive as well, where the um, thrust washer goes, where the thrust bearing goes, because essentially that is the outer base of the thrust bearing. So you want to make sure that's well lubricated and um, kind of fully greased up there. I'll wipe off the excess once I push it in there. Now I'm going to take some diff lube, some hoodie diff lube, and put a little bit on the outside here um, before the ring to hold the ring on in place while I'm building it. It just makes it a little easier if it sticks on there. I'll place the ring on, and I'll go and do the same thing to the other side. I will put this bearing in. Um, this kind of just keeps everything uh, in line better. Push that in. Um, once you put the diff together, you'll realize that makes it a little easier to, to put together. So if there's a bearing on one each side, I'll do the other one in a minute here. I'll put the grease on again. This is just something I like to do. It just makes it a little easier to work with. Um, push the ring on there and I'll wipe the excess off around the outside. And then I'll put a little bit on the face of it as well just to keep it, just to make sure it has a lot of lubrication between the, the ring and ball. Is that the same thing to this side? And I'll take a flat blade screwdriver and get some of the, the diff grease again and put it inside um, the gear. And make sure with the gear, because the balls go in only one direction, so kind of look for that before you put the grease in. And then remember, because the diff, the balls will go in from that side and kind of sit in there. If you put do it the wrong way, you're not going to be able to get the diff balls in. So just kind of keep an eye on that. And I like to put the grease in from that the big hole side too. So when you push the ball through, it kind of pushes the grease all the way through the gear. Again, put a lot in there. Uh, make sure you have uh, the the holes foil, filled with grease. And then I get the diff balls out. 
And again, I'll use the same screwdriver with the grease on it. It just makes it a little easier to put the balls in. If there's some grease on there, it kind of picks them up easier. And I'm not going to worry about getting the balls in the hole right away. I'm just getting them inside the gear, and then I can go out later with a two mil and kind of push them into where they go. Like that, just kind of massage them in there. They'll find the hole, and then you can um, just kind of go around the gear and put the dip balls in the gear. And then I'll put the bearing on this side, and this will kind of guide the gear into where it should sit on the, the, on the out drive. Uh, kind of push on there, it'll have like a nice snap when it goes on, so you'll know it's seated good. And I'm going to put the diff together using a 2 mil on the screw side. I'm going to clean the screw one more time just to make sure there was no grease or anything got on the screw, because you definitely want the Loctite to hold and your diff to stay tight. And do the nut one more time. I use a pipe cleaner just so it gets in there. It's a little, a little bit easier than using paper towel. Use the two mil to hold the screw, and then I'm going to put the diff together. And I'll leave it all together there with the screwdriver in. It just kind of keeps everything held better. And I'm going to clean the dart off that I'm using to, to use before for the grease. Make sure there's no grease on it. Clean it up with motor spray. And I'm going to use it to put Loctite in the nut. I'll put Loctite in the nut just a little bit with the tip of that, and then I'll massage it in with the tip. Just make sure it's completely, the threads are completely covered. And I'll put the spring in. And then putting the nut on is a little bit tricky with this diff. It has rounded sides, so it kind of, you kind of have to work with it a little bit to get it in there. But I use a poker sometimes um, if you need it. So don't feel bad if you have trouble with this because it's not, it's not just, uh, it's not easy. So just kind of work it around. I use a poker like that. Um, it'll kind of line it up better and then you can once you get the thread started you can kind of start to tighten it down So once I get the screw started I'm gonna tighten it a little bit and work around my fingers and then tighten it a little bit again Just to where it feels snug with the diff and then I'll put it in the car um, I've done a video about this before um, Showing you how to break the diff in so check out my YouTube page and um, Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching